I don't got to hurt you. God will. You know, you're feeling for no reason, bro. You built your own hatred off looking at me. What's wrong with you? You can't stop what God built, bro. Oh, baby. So I've been having it on my mind to go through just like my list of employment because I just feel like um, I'm approaching my 40th cycle of life you know what i'm saying in a few years and baby one thing about me is i've had a bunch of jobs baby and i realized you know i've committed to one particular um field of service over the last decade or whatever but for the most part i've had quite a few jobs so i went ahead and i listed all of my jobs and then something about me listing all of the jobs of course led me to count them and so i counted them and since it was a list of my jobs right god sent me to jobs 18 19 and 20 and so i read it and when i was reading it i was like oh my god this is what god does to the wicked and just you know what i'm saying like you know don't want that kind of you know what i'm saying pressure or any type of thing from god and i'm glad that you know what i'm saying god sees and knows my heart ultimately so if anyone's gonna see that i am or i'm not wicked it's gonna be god and so i i was like dang what's my jobs like what what were my jobs right and i in 13 i had a newspaper route right my mom was like you had this baby you're gonna take care of this baby so from 13 to about 16 i had a newspaper route and i would wake up at like five o'clock in the morning and i would go and do my paper route before going to school and my mom of course was watching my baby as soon as i turned 16 i started working at mcdonald's and i was at mcdonald's until i was 18 because i remember graduating from high school with my cna where i started nursing and I worked in about two nursing homes before I was like, this shit ain't for me. It's not. Not finna do this. And so I had a few jobs like Denny's and IHOP. I worked at a convenience store years ago and ended up like robbing them. I think I have a story of it on my <laughs> on my profile somewhere and then after that i got into call center type jobs i'm talking about i work for cable companies i work for healthcare companies credit card companies covid hotline crisis companies data entry um everything i also did a little bit of home health um like where i would go to people's house and i would sit with people who had like mental or physical disabilities and i would just kind of help them i worked at tesla for a cool little minute I kind of liked that was probably like one of my favorite jobs ever and then I did a group home I didn't even really work there I just went to the training and I was like nah this ain't for me I'm not gonna be around these smart mouth ass little girls who gonna want to fight not gonna do it I was a wife twice a college student I'm I've been a youtuber baby I've had a lot of jobs and one thing that I will say um throughout like I've been around in the job market from the time that you know what I'm saying minimum wage was like 750 up until you know what I'm saying now you know things are about 20 an hour for like an average and entry level type job right so I've been in the job market for quite some time like I can literally remember when um like we used to have like secret shoppers that would like come into stores and make sure everything was working properly and you know what I'm saying make sure that no hazards or anything like that were going on today baby they don't care they is just out here to make their money and it's like I don't blame them but it's like you know what I'm saying have some sort of core values to your establishment right you know what I'm saying make sure there's hot water in the bathrooms type shit but I, I I was like okay so from 16 up until 38 you know what I'm saying depending on how much I made that year like let's just say each year from then which I know this is just like an estimate. Like if I were to say that I made $30,000 each year that I've worked a job for, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the amount of jobs that I was able to list, then it's, it's giving about half a million dollars in my lifetime, right? Half a million dollars in my lifetime only because I decided to do you know what I'm saying, what society says is the norm and what society says is the way and, you know, create that social economy that is pushed, right? And so I was like, damn, I've only, you know what I'm saying, 38 years, like just half a million. And I was just like, wow, that's really small.
And I said, the only reason I'm thinking that way is because someone told me to think that way. And I said, but God, right? Like I had a moment to where it kind of, it kind of hit me in a place um, mentally and emotionally to where it was just like, what in the what in the world and I was like I'm not going to allow it to keep me in a space that's negative because I know that in any second God could take what I've made in my entire lifetime and give that to me monthly you know what I'm saying give my entire amount of work and effort that I put into you know what I'm saying this world this economy and start to give it to me monthly you know what I'm saying so I was just like that's when people say like open your mind expand your mind do better think better those are the kind of things that you really have to look at and really have to you know what i'm saying take a step back to see what kind of programming you've been that's literally like the type of faith that you have to start to develop and to develop that relationship with god you do have to like really practice on trusting him you have to really practice on building spiritual muscle and i feel like i've been doing that for the last 38 years of my life baby that spiritual muscle is strong it's impenetrable like nobody's breaking through the spiritual muscle that i have so it's just like um now that I know that I'm strong in that area, what am I going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? So programming is so important, like whether it's socially programming, sexually programming, financially programming, mentally programming, emotional programming, health programming. Like you have to be really in tune with what you are allowing to feed your focus because whatever you're feeding your focus is what's feeding your motivation and drive for you to be who you are in life so I was like you know a little bit disappointed in all the years that I didn't put into this world in this economy to only have made probably not even half a million dollars but I said but God but God can take any situation like I said in any second and I know you know what I'm saying? I've seen it so many times. I'm like, oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Look at God bless this person. And it's just for you to just really be open and ready to receive what God has in store for you and what you and God can co-create together. So regardless of where you're at in your journey, whether you're 40, whether you're 60, whether you're 18, whether you're 22, it don't matter where you're at physically. It matters where you start to become mentally and emotionally because your mental and your emotions is what's going to ultimately create that spiritual muscle that you're going to need in order to survive in this world. You're going to need some muscle. And I'm not just talking about these kind of muscles, big gun, you see it. I'm talking about like mental muscle, emotional muscle, spiritual muscle. And if you don't go through anything bad in life... If you don't go through anything bad, you're really not going to be able to develop that. So if you are going through something, count it as a blessing, regardless of how it may look or how it may feel. It's going to be a blessing. You might not see it right then. You might not see it right now. But trust me, it's going to help you to develop some spiritual muscle. It's going to help you to develop to learn to trust God. And I feel like that's a part of everyone's journey is learning how to trust God and to give him all the praise and the glory. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, a comment. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye.